Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Good morning, my dear students. How are you today? Today we are going to study unit uh, 10, lesson 7. As we studied in uh, module 4, uh, we should prepare ourselves to avoid accidents. So the topic is about accidents. Uh, please open your students book, page number 82. Students book, page number 82. We are going to practice speaking, listening and writing if we have enough time. I'd like to remind you of the educational value for this month. Uh, time management. You should organize your time and you should have a good plan to achieve all your tasks in uh, in a very short time. Please open your students book page number 82. This is education value, time management. What would you do if you see a car accident or if you saw a car accident? What would you uh, do if you saw a car accident? Abraham Abd Nasser. Abraham Abd Nasser, uh, yes. Sir. What would you do if you saw a car accident? I would call the, the ambulance. I would call the ambulance. I would call the police. Ahmed Sayyid. Ahmed Sayyid Muhammad Ali. No, I can say. What would you do? Uh, I uh, calling the police. I would I would call the police. Yes. So if you saw or if I saw a car accident, I would call the police. I would go for help. I would uh, call the ambulance. OK, uh, emergency services, emergency services like what police, uh, police cars, uh, fire brigades, ambulances, etc. So these are uh, used for emergency services. As the public organization that respond to and deal with emergencies. So in, in case of uh, uh, urgent, uh, urgent uh, things, you can call emergency services when they occur, especially those that provide police, uh, fire or firemen or uh, paramedics or uh, ambulances. What do you know about emergency services in Kuwait? What do you know about emergency services in Kuwait? What do you say about uh, these uh, services? Ahmed Adel Husseini. Uh, what do you think uh, of uh, emergency services in Kuwait? Do you like them? Yes. Why? Because. Uh... There are. Uh, yes. Uh, there are. Um, protect us. They protect us. They save people's lives. Very good. Abdurrahman Mohammed Radwan. Uh, they are retired to, to save us. Very good. They work hard. They, uh, they work hard. Uh, or they do their best to save people's lives uh, from the fire or from accidents. So they usually arrive on time. What accidents require help from the emergency services? What accidents require help from the emergency services? Every minute saves life or every minute saves lives. So. When do we need emergency service? Mohammed Tamir? Car accident. Uh, in any car accidents? No, the, uh, uh, in a dangerous. Uh, yeah, in a, in a dangerous or risky one. Very good. So when we have when we have injured injured people or when we have uh, fire, when we have what? When you have uh, so something that can threaten people's lives, we call emergency services. What are the causes of car accidents? We mentioned this before. What are the causes of car accidents? Yes, Amin Jamal. Amin Jamal. I said they yes. may be different. Causes, causes means uh, the reasons. Why do car accidents take place? 
اوفر سبيد اوفر سبيد ثانك يو كريم موائل نوت فولوينج ذا رولز جود از الدين ثانك يو using mobile phones and bad weather yes very good so these are some of them uh, drivers don't follow traffic rules drivers don't concentrate on roads drivers uh, use uh, their cell phones while driving drivers don't drive carefully drivers don't maintain their cars or don't fix their cars let's learn some of the new words today ceo CEO, a chief, ex chief executive officer. officer, a chief executive officer. CEO is an abbreviation or short form for a chief executive officer. Rais or Mudir Tamfizi lil Sharika, a chief executive officer. The person who is the most important position in a company. The CEO decided to uh, reshuffle the company's top management. Resh uh, reshuffle means a change. Uh, chief executive officer. Emergency services. Emergency services. Emergency services. The public organizations that respond to and deal with emergencies when they occur, especially those that provide police, uh, firemen, uh, paramedics. Emergency services are always ready to save people's lives. Fire drill. Fire drill. Fire drill. A practice of the emergency procedures to be used in case of fire. You, uh, some people or firemen can have a fire drill uh, in a school to teach people how to avoid accidents or avoid uh, fire, etc. Fire drill means practice. The fire brigade finished the fire drill. So fire drill means fire practice. Follow your teacher, quietly line up, move quickly and quietly outside, remain with your class at all times. Sometimes uh, we have we have a fire drill uh, at school uh, to, uh, to prepare or to make students ready uh, to avoid uh, to avoid uh, fire or, or danger, etc. So we you should have a fire drill or practice. Monkfish. 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 Monkfish is a bottom dwelling uh, uh, angular fish of European water. So monkfish is found or grow, lives in uh, European water. Waters. Monkfish is a kind of fish. This restaurant serves the best monkfish in the region. Monkfish is a kind of fish, especially in European waters. Object. Object. Object is a noun. Object is a verb. Not the, the stress here. Object to say something uh, to uh, to express uh, one's disapproval or a disagreement with some something. So object means uh, disagree, to have a vote, or uh, vote to. Object, object. Some members of the parliament objected to the new bill. They have expressed expressed their disapproval or disagreement. Object, objected. They said no. Over, Over the moon. moon. Over the moon is an expression. It means happy and joyful, glad, pleased. The girl is over the moon. It means she is very happy. Over the moon. He is over the moon about his new job. He is so happy, so joyful. Wed. Wed. Wedding. Wed uh, means to link or combine closely. So wed means link or combine, join. Uh, if you are going to uh, join two things, you, you said I am wedding two circles A and B. Wed can means uh, it can mean what uh, to get married. I'm having a wedding party wed. So what means to link or combine closely your uh, you achieve success when you with perseverance and hard work when you join when you join perseverance uh, determination and hard work you can achieve success 
So these are the new words we studied today. Fire drill, wed, over the moon, object, CEO. Please read the sentence and complete them with words from the list. Khaled Walid. My little son was blank about his new toy uh, over the moon. Over the moon. What does it mean over the moon? Very happy. Yes, good. Thank you. Munir. Our school will organize a fire drill next week. What does it mean fire drill? A practice. But Fire practice or fire uh, training, fire practice or fire uh, drill. Thank you. Yes. Fahmi, Abd Rahman Muhammad Fahmi, or Ahmed Samir, Ahmed Samir Muhammad Fahmi. Yes. Ahmed. Yes, uh, the uh, the craft of this uh, company is a very combin combin combatant combatant person. Uh, yes. C A C A O. Yes, very good. CEO. It's a, an abbreviation for a chief executive officer. Thank you. Yes, Hilary. My parents do not object at my studying abroad next week, next year. So object was mean? Uh, to show their uh, rejection or the disagree. Yes. Very good. So they don't disagree. Good. Now it's time to speak. What are you going to do? Please have a look at uh, the first exercise on page number 82. A book page number 82. What are you going to do? You are going. You are going to role play a telephone call or to the emergency services. Uh, choose one of these rules. Now imagine now you are you, you are a witness. You are a witness to an accident, a fire a car accident, an earthquake, etc. In the shahid, ayan lehatsa. It can be a fire, a car accident, and or an earthquake or any any accidents. And then you are uh, going to call the emergency service. Who is going to uh, respond or uh, reply for your phone call? It's called an emergency service operator. Al badala tawara. An emergency service operator. Muazzaf al badala. Okay. Now. I'll give you two minutes to think about uh, an accident. It can be a fire, a car accident, an earthquake, and you are going to call your friend who is working as an emergency service operator. Work, think. You can write some of your ideas about uh, an accident you have just witnessed. And you are calling for help. You are calling the emergency service. Who's going to uh, to call and who's going to answer? OK, let's see. Omar Lutfi is going to call. He's uh, he's a witness to an accident. And who is going to be an emergency service operator? You can ask him about the accident. You, uh, you, what, what happened? You can ask about the time, the place and uh, what uh, what do you need? Or what does he need? What he needs? Uh, and uh, he needs a police uh, car or an ambulance, a fire brigade, etc. Okay, Ilari and Omar Lutfi. Okay, uh, Omar Lutfi is the witness, and Ilari is the, uh, an emergency service operator. Call, start calling. هو اساسا انا عايزه حاجه يعني هو انا الشخص اللي بتصل على اللي هو الامرجنسي يعني بقول يس يو ار ذا ويتنس يو هاف جاست ووتشد يو هاف جاست سين ان اكسيدنت اند يو ار كولينج 911 اور 13777 اتس ا اني نمبر اوف امرجنسي 112 اي ثينك اور 121 يلا يا ذات 
Okay, Omar Lutfi is a witness and uh, emergency service operator in Larry. Uh, yeah, uh, 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 Hello, <laughs> emergency service. So, uh, you can, uh, when you dial, when you dial, of course, the emergency service operator will, uh, will respond. Emergency service, can I help you? Okay, oh. Larry, you can start. Okay, Larry. I'll be the witness. Yes. Uh, no, you uh, you are the operator. Okay. But you when you when you reply, you you are you are the first one to respond. Okay. Yeah. Uh, emergency services. How can I help you, sir? Uh, yeah. Yesterday I now to the what the lawyer says nowadays the what the lawyer. Hello, I, uh, there are a fire uh, near uh, my, near my fire. house. Near my yes. house, and I want uh, service. Uh, service emergency service. The emergency yes. service to help uh, the fire station. Okay, fire station. I to help the situation. Okay, let's just change the rules. Okay, let's just change the rules. Would you like to play or play the the witness, Ilari? Okay, no problem. Okay, let's see. Uh, Amar, you are the emergency service operator. Uh, hello, sir. You're, uh, I, uh, I am a service operator with you. What's your emer emergency? Uh, I just witnessed uh, a car accident on the high road, uh, and I wanted a car, uh, a paramedic, uh, to come help the situation. Uh, so one of the two drivers was injured. Okay, I will call. Uh, uh, I will call uh, hospital to get uh, car for uh, the uh, for the two the ambulance. Uh, ambulance. Yes. Ambulance, okay. the ambulance will arrive soon or as soon as possible. Uh, can you give me your name, please? Your mobile phone. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, I just ask for your name or your uh, mobile phone to uh, uh, connect with you if uh, it happened anything. Yeah, for example, I said my name and my mobile phone. Yes, thank you. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Here, let's uh, let's have a model, a model what, a model uh, dialogue between uh, a witness who has just witnessed an accident and the emergency service operator. Hello, sir. I'd like to report an accident that I've just witnessed. What's your name, please? My name is Omar. Uh, where are you now? I am on the high road or the sixth road uh, or, or uh, number of the street. And when did the accident happen? A few minutes ago. What did you see exactly? I saw a car that was running very fast, hit a man who was crossing the road, etc. Okay, so, so this is a, a similar or a model for the dialogue. Now, some uh, some two syllable words in English have the stress on the first syllable, like China table. Other uh, two syllable words have the stress on the last uh, the last syllable, like begin, decide. Read the following sentence. Who would like to read the first sentence? Who would like to read the first sentence? Ayub and Farid, can you read the first sentence? I was over the moon to receive this present. Yes, good. Brist. Okay, present. Uh, Jamal Shiha, read the second one. Uh, on the meeting. In the meeting. In the meeting, they will post him. Present. Their pace. So pay attention here. There is a difference here uh, on the stress here. The first one, present. Present here, the syllable, uh, the stress is on second syllable. And and second one, present. Present here, the stress is on the first syllable. The third one, who would like to read? The third sentence. Yes, Subhi. What is the object? I haven't seen it before. Yes, object, object. Thank you. Yes, uh, Abdurrahman Radwan. 
my parents object to me sleeping late at we at the weekend yes so the first one object and second one object 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 okay thank you yusuf hamdi the third uh, the next one number five he was looking for the right address yes he was looking for the right address and the last one let's see ahmed said muhammad ali He was uh, looking uh, for the right address. Uh, I addressed address, my, address, yes. uh, my letter to, uh, to the COO. CEO. CEO. Directly. directly. Thank you. So, in the first two pairs of sentences, the stress occurs on the first syllable of the idealized word in the first sentence. And second syllable of the italized word in second sentence. It is the, in the third pair of sentences. The second syllable is stressed in both sentences. So here, address, address the same, no changing. And the first and the last one. Okay. Here, the first one, uh, present is a noun and present is a verb. Object is a noun, object is a verb. Address is a noun, address is a verb. Okay. The, uh, the underlined stress here. Now listen to the following sentence and underline the words that should be stressed. Please listen and underline. Identify the word stress. I think it's not working. So these are uh, the, uh, the stressed syllable fire huge f must please and there is a, a quote here it says obedience is the mother of success and is wedded to safety wedded means joined obedience is the mother of success and is wedded to safety what does he mean here what do we mean by this quote? What do you understand from this quote? Obedience is the mother of success and is wedded to safety. Yes, Subhi. Uh, what does the quote mean? Ilari, try to guess. Yes, Ilari. Catch, catch. Quote, catch. Okay, wait. Okay, wait, uh, Subhi. Hilary? It means that uh, if if you are obedient, then you will achieve success and you'll be safe. And Very they good. are all connected to each other. Thank you so much. So obedience gives birth to success. When you are uh, rigorously obedient to following whatever you are advised to by your teacher, by parents, boss, you will naturally enjoy the fruits that success. So you should obey your be your parents, your your boss, your teacher to achieve success. So obedience is the main thing you need in order to be successful and to be safe. Obedience and safety lead us to success. Thus, if we obey those who care for us and who are wiser than us, then we are taking a safe road which will help us to succeed in our life. Now we are going to uh, describe an accident. Look at these pictures here. There are four pictures. You are going to listen and discuss. Listen to someone describing the scene of an accident, but he's going to describe one picture of, the, of these four. Which of these four pictures uh, are they describing? Please listen carefully and have a look at these pictures. You are, you are going to decide, is it picture A, B, C, or D? How do you know uh, he is going to describe what he can see in the picture? 10.3, page 83, exercise one. I came out of college and started walking towards the bus station to catch my bus home. I was thinking about what I was going to do that evening when I heard a terrible crash. It sounded like a trap accident, so I ran as fast as I could in the direction of the noise. As I came round the corner, this is what I saw. 
There was a van and two cars, one red and one silver in the middle of the road. The van had crashed into the back of the red car and the red car had crashed into the back of the silver car. The driver of the red car was very angry. He was shouting at the van driver. The driver of the silver car was standing, looking at the front of his car. Two young men were standing and watching. A police car arrived. So what you picture is he describing? You have to pay attention. Yes, Mala. Uh, I think uh, picture letter uh, D. Yes, very good. How do you know that's picture D? How do you know? Now, sir. How do you know that it's uh, picture D? Because the, uh, he said the red car is uh, crushed on the uh, silver, car. silver car and the uh, ambulance come, come to back there. Yes, but uh, here the van, the van hit the red car and the, the, the driver of the red car uh, is shouting at the van driver and two men are watching the driver of silver car is uh, standing in front of his car, right? Thank you. Excuse so me, Senator. Yes. Yes, sir. How are you? Very well, thanks. Uh, would you please uh, uh, replay the video recorder? I mean, the listening uh, portion you yeah. played for them once more. Okay. Please listen carefully and be ready to answer right, Mr. Ayman's question. Ten point three, page eighty three. Exercise one. I came out of college and started walking towards the bus station to catch my bus home. I was thinking about what I was going to do that evening when I heard a terrible crash. It sounded like a traffic accident. So I ran as fast as I could in the direction of the noise. As I came round the corner, this is what I saw. There was a van and two cars, one red and one silver in the middle of the road. The van had crashed into the back of the red car and the red car had crashed into the back of the silver car. The driver of the red car was very angry. He was shouting at the van driver. The driver of the silver car was standing, looking at the front of his car. Two young men were standing and watching. A police car arrived. Yes, Mr. Ayman. Yeah, so clear now, Mr. Nabil. I guess we can answer your yeah. questions, whatever they are, because they have uh, yeah. enough listening time. Yeah, so go uh, go for your uh, session, Mr. Uh, Nabil. Okay. Complete it okay. as planned before. But I wanted them yeah. to listen once more, just to emphasize that they got all or most of the details. That's yes, it. And, uh, and of course, I made sure by asking them some questions. How do you know that their answer is yeah. correct or yeah. not? Yeah, true, true. Thank you so much, Mr. Nadir. Welcome, sir. Now, you are going to describe one of the other uh, accident scenes, uh, scenes in detail. So uh, here the, uh, the listener, or uh, you have just listened to someone who uh, was describing picture D. Now, I want you to describe to describe picture A. Let's have a look at picture A and tell me, or oh, you are, imagine that you are a witness. Uh, to this accident. Who can describe it? Let's have a look at picture A and describe it. Here, this, these are the questions. What are you going to do? Uh, choose picture, choose one of the picture you are going to describe. Don't tell your partner. It's a, it's a kind of game. Make notes about the scene. Don't write false sentences. So you are going to write some notes describing uh, describing the picture and then uh, the other student will try to guess which picture are you going to describe you can use some of the useful language box uh, here expressions here as i came around the corner as i was ca coming back from school or etc this is what i saw 
There was a bus a pedestrian at the side of the road on the pavement. The driver uh, of the red car or the blue car, the driver of the bus was very angry. So you can use these expressions to describe the picture. Two children uh, were laughing or two men were examining their cars. Uh, try to guess. Uh, I was thinking about picture A, B, C, uh, etc. It looked like we didn't want to assume, but it seems that. OK, I'll give you uh, enough time. You can do it at home. Please uh, uh, have a look at these uh, three pictures and prepare uh, a speech or a talk. And then uh, your colleagues can, uh, can try to guess which picture uh, are you uh, describing. OK. Let's stop here. Thank you so much. Until we meet again, goodbye.